Hi, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a flip through of the Thinking Tree, the Baker's Fun Schooling Journal, Homeschooling Curriculum Handbook for students majoring in baking or just who love to bake. There's a chef's journal as well, and I'll be doing a flip through of that one too. So here's the, you color this. And then I'll read a little bit of what it says over here. It says about the baking fun schooling journal. The baker's fun schooling journal is a curriculum handbook that covers a number of school subjects while focusing on baking. Students will work through baking challenges, try new recipes, and get to be creative. To complete this guided learning journal, students need books, baking supplies, and films, documentaries. This journal can be used daily for an intensive baking unit lasting about a month or once a, a week to last a school year. And of course you can use it as many times as you like, as just suggested. The book includes lots of unhealthy sweets made with common ingredients. One of the first activities will prompt the student to choose substitutes for these ingredients. As a student tries new recipes, please encourage them to modify them to suit your family's healthy eating plan. Students learn valuable skills through substitutions and alternatives. And this, this is recommended for ages 10 and up and younger students with assistance can use this as well. So right here, it says the action steps, go to the library and um, get your books. And then right here, choose your books, they could draw the uh, covers of them or write them out. Plans and priorities. It says to-do list, a quote, shopping list, and my plans, and I am thankful for. I like that. And then here, relax and be creative. They can listen to a, a podcast, um, music, or just nothing, but uh, that's another idea. Maybe an audio book. Baking challenge. Research sub substitutes to common ingredients. Change one of your favorite recipes using some of these alternatives. So instead of this, instead of one egg, try this. And I've seen things like the gelatin eggs or um, uh, using other ingredients for eggs. So that's what they would put here. One cup white flour and so forth. One cup butter, although butter makes everything better. How did it come out? Over here is how many stars do you give your work? So um, maybe after they bake something, they could have somebody help rate, add some pictures, add some notes, and so forth. Reading time. Choose a few books from your stack to focus on today. Write down or draw anything that inspires you. And I like on these ones, you could, um, they have some lines. But um, yeah, so you could write, illustrate, screen time. They could take their notes, they get to rate what they watched. Watch a cooking show, high quality film, video, documentary, or baking tutorial. Math practice, use this page for math practice, graphic designs, and creative measurements. If you have a book on mathematics, use this page for, for notes. Baking dreams. Design something beautiful you want to bake. Look at photos in your cookbook or online for ideas. They can write their notes here. No bake raspberry cheesecake. Baking time. How many stars do you give this recipe? And you can write the notes and color. So, um, so if you're doing this as the intensive study where you're wanting to finish it in a month, these are kind of like your um, where to start the next day page. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's about 10 pages and that would be if you're using this as your core journal so you would start your day um, here and then do your either logic coloring here and then 
do your baking baking challenge when watch a baking show and attempt the recipe at home and then you can rate yourself reading time and then screen time this one you could probably actually combine with um with that one for that day and your baking dream math practice so you'll get a little bit of that each day if you're using this um, as as recommended but of course just use it however you and your child well, that works best for your family <coughs> excuse me because if you're using it 10 pages a day um, that will keep them pretty busy so I my, myself would probably use it a few times a week use it that way with my kiddos so that is the format for that this one kind of go a little bit quicker these are from dyslexia games I'm just gonna kind of skip through some pages strawberry cheesecake muffins and you can even use this for um, this set of pages this week and then try it again with um with with the um substitution page so like if one cup milk if you can't have milk maybe try it with one of the other milks to see how it would come out if it would work for you know swapping it i'm just gonna go flip through the rest the best apple crisp and there may be a few more recipes that I didn't see. Baking challenge. Make pancakes. This is where you make about 20 pancakes and then layer them with strawberries and sweetened cream cheese. It's your call if you want to frost the whole cake or leave it with the, the raw look. You can top the cake with strawberries and drizzle with maple syrup. How fun that would be. Because that's not something you do every day. Chewy oatmeal cookies. Oh, I'm gonna have to make those. See, and this would be something where, um, for me, my daughter-in-law is, um, she can't have gluten, so I would try. I would probably try it the first time as written, and then you know my family can eat those, and then try it again, um, and try a different flour. You know they have some gluten-free baking mixes now. You could try that, and then just I would just make sure I get the gluten-free rolled oats. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great day.